Buffalo Public Schools is on the cusp of a major renaissance, just like the city is going through. We want to become best in class for the whole country in urban education. The Z-Space technology is one of the important things that can help accelerate our students' learning to become head of the class. Anything that gives the students that opportunity to actually interact with the content, that was just so exciting, the potential of where we could take that in our schools. I have seen students collaborate more. It has allowed the teacher to step back and move from that traditional sense of lecturing. We walked around, we asked the kids questions. They told us things. They were so excited about their creations and then to receive feedback from their peers just reinforced the great work that they had done. At this point, the students are very independent. I'm just a facilitator. They do their own learning on their own. Yeah, we like learn in a more of an entertaining way because it's tweed day. As soon as you step in this lab, it's just remarkable. You can try new things that you wouldn't have tried before that. You wouldn't have thought about feeling the heartbeat of a real heart. There's so many different things that you can try, that you can experience with Z-Space. The possibilities are endless. Now they can see the experiments. They're working hands-on. They're much more interested. Their participation has gone way up and their grades because of that have also gone up because they enjoy using these machines. Every single one of the students were engaged in the learning and that's something that principals and the other administrators are really looking for these days, making sure students are truly engaged in the learning and what are they getting out of it. The Z space is a set of skills in a world that we can't deny our young people for having the very best of what it has to offer. We provide the opportunity, the access and the quality, but they then have to come and take advantage of all of that. Engagement, empowerment, and then employment.